Hey guys, so today I'm going to be reviewing the Inkay's Tracto duffel bag. Um, this is a size small, uh, and this is one of Inkay's newer offerings. Uh, I'm a big fan of Inkay's bags, I've had a lot of them in the past, I've always loved their quality. Uh, and Typically, before I purchase a bag, I've usually been lucky enough to find several video reviews on YouTube or online, um, just kind of breaking down what a bag looks like and what the different features are. Uh, unfortunately for this bag it hasn't been the case I haven't really seen too many other people um, show the bag in detail in a lot of the pictures on on in cases own site and um, in some of the promotional material is not super clear um, but thankfully uh, they had a great sale on Black Friday uh, and I was able to get the bag at 50% off um, so I could just try it myself and I figured uh, some other people might want to see what it looks like up close and personal uh, so the first thing you'll notice is it comes in a little pouch which is great because that means that when it's not in use you can actually just fold it up and put it away uh, that way it's not taking up space or cluttering your house um, so we go ahead and take it out this is what the bag looks like so this is the black bag it is a size small which means it holds approximately 40 liters which is actually perfect for carry-on on most uh, airlines. Uh, I had ordered the 60 liter bag as well, but found that to be a little bit too big for me and I figured I'd probably run into issues when traveling around um, Europe with some of the airlines that have smaller airbag airline restrictions. So, uh, I thought this bag was absolutely perfect. So, I'm gonna go ahead and get a little bit more into the details of what exactly the bag includes. So, what I was in the market for was for a duffel bag. I've been traveling with uh, the travel backpacks recently, such as uh, the Air Travel Pack, or even in cases own Travel EO bag, which are great, um, you know, uh, for a few days travel, but they don't really hold enough uh, for a week or two. And uh, because they're so tech focused, the uh, the pockets and padding that they use end up taking up a lot of space. So I really wanted a duffel bag that I could wear on my back and that was also also very flexible so that I could fit a lot of stuff in it or I could you know crush it a little bit and squeeze it into an overhead compartment. So as you can see the bag has handles to, so that you can carry it as a normal duffel bag. However the coolness comes with the backpack strap. So you can actually wear this as a very comfortable travel backpack. As you can see the straps are nicely padded uh, they're easy to take on and off if you don't want to have straps cluttering everything. The bag itself doesn't look too bulky when it's on your back. Uh, right now it's empty so it looks a lot slimmer than it would if I had filled it up with my typical packing. But uh, generally it, it, it doesn't bulk out too much which is a nice feature as you're walking through airports or if you need to squeeze it into an overhead compartment. It, it's really nice. Uh, on the outside of the bag there's not really any other pockets. Um, you have a few little loops here where you can maybe hook on a water bottle or some Beats headphones or uh, just care miners. Um, it also has compression straps that you can use to uh, tighten the bag down if it's emptier or if you want to maintain a slimmer profile. Um, at the top, it just has a regular opening. Uh, you can just see directly into the bottom of the bag. Not a lot of space here. Um, it has one zipper pocket at the top on the flap just to add a little bit of organizational options. Uh, but the really cool thing that I liked about this bag is that it actually butterflies open. So what this really what this allows you to do is organize your clothes quite a bit or your, your travel items, whatever it is that you're packing in here. Um, it's really nice because it actually has zippers that allow it to butterfly open. So that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to open the bag up so you can take a look at what I mean. So the zippers here, I noticed, they're almost hard to pull with how sturdy they are, which is great. It kind of makes me feel like this bag is going to last a long time. And the bag itself has got a ballistic nylon exterior with a tarpaulin covering all around. So it, look, it is made to withstand the elements. This bag is going to last a long time. Um, so as you can see here, the bag itself splits open into two compartments, which is great. Um, they each come with their own kind of mesh zipper clothing so that you can organize your clothes as you like when you travel. Um, I typically like to use packing cubes, so I'll put everything, you know, my shirts, my underwear in one packing cube, my pants into another, and then I'll have my toiletry kit, and everything kind of organizes nicely so that whenever I am traveling and my bag is packed, I can just open it down the middle, and I can uh, easily get to different areas of my bag without having to unpack the whole thing or unorganize it, so that's really nice. Um, in addition, it's really nice that uh, the edges of the bag here are kind of stretchy, 
So it, it really helps to let you fit that little bit extra, but also when you zip the bag closed, it helps to compress everything that you're packing. So you get double, double features there. And uh, so far I've made about two or three trips with the bag and I absolutely love it. Uh, it's super comfortable. This butterfly mechanism is super, super convenient. I love being able to open it, lay it out, see everything that I have. Sometimes I'll split it into clean and dirty clothing depending on how much clothes I'm packing. Uh, cause I won't always pack a laundry bag for a dirty clothes, so it's nice to be able to separate it out into a different compartment. And um, and the bag itself is pretty lightweight when it's empty, so really, it's not, it, the bag is not going to add a lot of a lot of weight in addition to the material uh, to the things that you're taking, which is awesome because it still feels really sturdy. It still feels really convenient to uh, to travel with. Uh, it's got some nice handles here that you can use to help load it up into an overhead compartment, or if you just want to pick it up. Um, in case has also gone ahead and included uh, a little handle here for one of the for one of the handles where you can actually include like a luggage um, a luggage tag. Uh, you can add in your contact info in case the bag gets misplaced so that people can get it back to you. And um, overall, I think this is an awesome bag. Uh, I highly recommend it. Right now, it's available on Incase's site for 125, I believe, for the uh, small, and the uh, price goes up there depending on the size. Um, and I'll be including the link below to Incase's site where you can buy it. Um, and I highly recommend you guys give it a shot. It's a great bag, it holds a lot of stuff, it has a lot of flexibility in how you can pack, and it seems like it's gonna be a great quality and you can uh, have it for a really long time and then when you're not using it again, you can just pack it away into a little included pouch and uh, definitely recommend you guys check it out. All right, thanks a lot. Thank you.